Hey again, Pyro peeps. Dex here. Just a quick demo with my um, my own version of a, of a Pyro poke with some advanced features that I did in another video. Um, so I'm going to show you really uh, just a quick demo on a couple of the different sizes and their uses. So first, we'll start off with the quarter inch version, which is the same size as what you would use to um, replace fusing in a cake with, say, a, a, an Ematch or a Firewire initiator. So here we have a product with some fuse. You know, we would take the fuse out. And this could typically be in a cake, but we'll just do a single tube as an example, and it's empty for safety. And, you know, a, a typical poke, you know, a typical poke is like this, and it, it works. You know, I've used this before. It's, it's, it's nice, and it's smooth, and it's pretty easy. Um, but the difference between mine is a much more ergonomic handle that you could have your thumb resting here. You can also get your thumb on the flat part to really get some strong momentum here, angular momentum, if you will. Uh, also, since it has a flat side, it won't just roll off the table. So like I said, we, so we had our fuse point, and you take the pyro poke, and because of this pyrobolic tip or this notch here, this cut notch, rather than just pushing the cardboard apart and being a little, a little harder to do, this simply kind of cut, like, I'm already done. Within a second, I'm already done and poke the hole through, and that'll make it wide enough for an E-match. So we'll go through again, just make sure it's wide. There's your eighth of an inch hole. And then we would take our, our E-match, or Firewire. This one's already spent. That goes into the whole perfect fit. Tape over that, and now our product's ready for electronic firing. Similarly, if you had a product, let's say it was maybe the end of the cake, but you wanted to extend there with some, some fusing, you can go to the smaller size, which is the 532nds. There we go. And... This may be the end of our cake. Again, pyrobolic notch. Make a little hole. And that's the perfect size for a fuse. Fuse goes in. Tape that up. This leads down a longer fuse to your next cake or the next item in your line. So they're very good. And again, there's also the smallest size, which is an eighth of an inch. Just for detail work. Maybe if you wanted to, you know, poke this fuse in further, you could easily do that with the smaller tip stir up chemicals, whatever you'd like. So again, my pyro poke's come in three sizes. Typically, the white's the most popular for the E-matches. But I also have the 530 seconds. Let's do red, white, and blue. Here we go. And the eighth of an inch for detail work. Okay, so there you have it. Just a quick little demo of how they're used to poke holes, and they work really, really well. And they're not expensive, you know. I'm not going to knock any pyro poke, anybody making them. That's great. It's helping the industry. But uh, please check mine out. And if you like them, I will leave a link in the description. Uh, and you can also read more about them at www.pyropoke.com. Thanks for watching, Pyro Peeps. Ciao for now. Peace.